regarding cancer treatment, the challenge has always been how to destroy cancer cells without causing significant harm to normal cells. Is there a treatment approach that can achieve both effective tumor destruction and minimal collateral damage? Over the past decade, antibodies targeting PDL1 have ushered in an era of cancer immunotherapy. At the same time, antibody drug conjugates ADCs, often referred to as intelligent biological missiles, are reshaping the landscape of cancer treatment. What happens when the two are combined? HLX43 Phase 1 clinical data from Henlius, a biopharmaceutical innovation platform under Fawcett, revealed that PDL1 ADC demonstrated impressive anti tumor activity and manageable safety in patients with advanced or metastatic solid tumors. The results were especially encouraging in patients with non small cell lung cancer NSCLC, and thymic squamous cell carcinoma TSCC, showing promising initial efficacy. So, what are PDL1 ADCs and what make them so special? To understand PDL1 ADCs, it's important to first know tumor immunotherapy. T cells act as immune defenders, attacking abnormal or foreign cells. PD1, their commander, decides whether to launch an attack. Tumor cells use PDL1 to camouflage themselves by binding to PD1, preventing T cells from receiving attack signals and allowing tumors to grow unchecked. PDL1 inhibitors work like a security scan, unmasking PDL1 and reactivating T cells to eliminate cancer cells. ADCs, or antibody drug conjugates, are a form of targeted therapy composed of three parts an antibody, a linker, and a toxin. What sets ADCs apart is their precision. They attack cancer cells while spraying healthy ones, greatly reducing side effects. That's why they are called intelligent biological missiles. The antibody guides the drug to tumor cells, the linker carries and releases the payload, and the toxin acts as the warhead, delivering a lethal strike. ADCs have long been seen as advanced versions of chemotherapy, but when combined with the PDL1, they offer something truly game-changing. PDL1 ADCs are like upgraded smart missiles with stronger and more accurate warheads that combine the strengths of immunotherapy and targeted delivery. Why is this pairing so effective? Because PDL1 is a banned tumor target found in many cancer types but rarely in normal cells, limiting off target effects. Moreover, PDL1 can be internalized by tumor cells, meaning the ADC's toxic payload can reach inside the cell for a more effective hit. Neither immunotherapy nor ADCs are new concepts. However, according to the Insight database, to date there are only two PDL1 targeted ADCs in the world that have entered the clinical stage. This is because developing a PDL1 ADC is not as simple as just combining the two. It requires strong innovation capabilities and long term accumulation of experience in pharmaceutical research and development R&D. Henlius HLX43 project was launched in May 2022. In just one and a half years, it produced clinical data that attracted worldwide attention. It is also the world's first PDL1 ADC to enter phase two clinical trial. At this year's American Society of Clinical Oncology ASCO annual meeting, HLX43's phase one clinical data was released for the first time, demonstrating the molecule's high efficacy, low toxicity and manageable safety profile. The comprehensive technical advantages it has demonstrated, from antibody, linker to payload and drug loading, give HLX43 the potential to benefit patients who are unresponsive or resistant to Keytruda and Opdivo, as well as those who have failed chemotherapy and other treatments. HLX43's impressive results are a testament to Fawcett's robust innovative R&D capabilities in the field of biopharmaceuticals. Focusing on tumors and autoimmune diseases, Helia's current pipeline covers more than 50 molecules, including monoclonal antibodies, polyclonal antibodies, ADCs, fusion proteins, small molecule drugs, and more. The differentiated innovative R&D strategy, combined with efficient independent innovation capabilities, has enabled Helios to achieve repeated breakthroughs in innovative drugs. For example, 
Henley's flagship innovative product, Han Sichuan, has achieved a breakthrough in the treatment of small cell lung cancer treatment with a differentiated indication. It is the world's first NTPD1 monoclonal antibody for the first line treatment of small cell lung cancer and has received orphan drug designation in the US, the European Union, Switzerland, and South Korea. In June this year, Han Sichuan was also approved for the first line treatment of extensive stage small cell lung cancer in both the UK and India. HLX22 is designed to address the clinical challenge of treating highly heterogeneous gastric cancer. By developing different binding epitopes, HLX22 represents the novel HER2 dual targeted therapy for gastric cancer that could redefine the first line treatment landscape for advanced gastric cancer. The foundation of differentiated strategy is to identify unmet clinical needs. This approach reflects Falson's patient-centric philosophy and its commitment to developing high-quality, more accessible biological medicines through innovative R&D. In addition to Henley's focus on prevalent cancers, Falson Pharma is also expanding into areas such as rare diseases, severe malaria, and chronic diseases striving to fill treatment gaps and collaborate with industry funds to invest in cutting-edge technologies such as nuclear medicine, RNA, gene therapy, and AI drug discovery. Perhaps the next globally recognized innovative drug will emerge from one of Henley's more than 50 pipeline candidates.